Hello! Welcome to Lazame's mobile library. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, this is your first time with us. Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lazame, and this is my library. I've stories from everywhere and everyone in this magical little universe of ours. Here, let me find a good one to start with. Ah, yes, yes, this should do the trick. Sit down, sit down! Please enjoy Under a Waterlogged Sky. It's late again, Ellie grumbles, so there's no one around to hear him complain. It's midday, but the pouring rain coupled with freezing wind is enough to deter most from braving the streets today. The few people who are out rush past in a blur of soaked fabric and dripping umbrellas, noses tucked into collars, each locked in their own private world of misery, too busy to notice Ellie or his plight. He sits alone, on the one square inch of the bus station's bench that isn't directly under a leak in the roof. He sits, toes beginning to go numb, glaring at the yellow-orange letters that spell out his doom. We're sorry, they read. The 1145 northbound has been suspended. Please seek alternative routes. Ellie kicks the signpost, then regrets it, as the action sends water rushing down from the kiosk's awning and onto his head. Great. Just great. There's nothing to be done for it, he supposes. Looks like he's walking. Somehow, the sky gets even darker in the time it takes Ellie to walk three blocks. His shoes are soaked through, socks sloshing around with each step. He's wet, and he's cold, and he's miserable, and he's not even halfway to the other bus station, but there's a low rumble of thunder, and the rain turns to hail, and he has to duck into a nearby shop to avoid getting clobbered by the ice pellets. The silvery welcome of a bow is almost lost behind the next roar of thunder. A blast of warm air rushes up to meet him, chasing out the chill so quickly that it hurts a little bit. He shuts the door firmly behind him and has to blink several times. Everything's lit in a warm, yellow light, and it takes his eyes a moment to adjust. Be with you in just a second, a voice calls. Ellie turns toward the front counter, where a round-faced, middle-aged woman waves a dish towel at him. Her cherry-red glasses glint merrily from the bridge of her nose, the overhead lights bouncing off the rhinestones in fragmented bursts of illumination. She waggles her fingers at him, then disappears into the back storeroom. It's then that he realizes just how hungry he is. Almost unconsciously, his eyes are drawn to the front counter, where a glass case is all that separates him from dozens of oven-warm pastries. Spotlights show off each one, weaving across intricate lattices dusted with powdered sugar, bouncing off the shiny tops of eclairs, highlighting the gold in the croissants. Overall, it's a little overwhelming, and before he knows it, he's being drawn in, pulled towards the front counter by an invisible force. The warmth is intoxicating, swirling in to chase away the miserable, soggy mess he had almost become. What can I get started for you, hon? Ellie startles. He hadn't noticed her approach. Um, he says eloquently. What do you recommend? The lady, whose name tag reads Liz, smiles at him. Well, you can't go wrong with a cherry turnover. And weather like this is practically begging for a cup of something strong. Ellie nods. That sounds wonderful. Well, I'll get right on it then, Liz beams. Her smile is somehow brighter than the light. Feel free to sit anywhere. I'll bring it to you when it's done. Though the shop is small, there are several booths lining the far wall, underneath large windows. Ellie makes his way over to one, sinking down in the polyester seat with a barely repressed sigh. The warmth of the shop has fogged up the windows, turning the outside world into a blurry mess of colors. From here, it's almost easy to forget the misery that had surrounded him mere minutes ago. Everything looks softer through these windows, more friendly. There's a child jumping in puddles outside the bakery. Their bright red raincoat flutters with each hop, a splash of color against the denim gray blur of the street. On the opposite sidewalk, a couple stroll along, arm in arm. Their heads are bent close together, shielded from the downpour by a single shared umbrella. One of the pair is significantly taller than the other, but they aren't the one holding the umbrella, instead bending over their partner's shoulder to keep their head dry. Even from across the street, Ellie can see their giggles as they awkwardly stumble along the way. Pretty, isn't it? Liz says, appearing at the edge of his table. Ellie murmurs in agreement, though his attention is now entirely locked on the steaming cup of coffee she places in front of him. It smells amazing, sort of spicy and sweet at the same time. He wraps his fingers around the mug, reveling in the heat radiating from it. Thank you, he says, as Liz places a plate in front of him. 
The turnover looks incredible, somehow even more appetizing than it had been back in the case. Or maybe he's just more hungry now. Either way, holding the warm pastry in his hands eases attention from his shoulders, and he relaxes, inhaling deeply. Ellie sits in the cafe for a good long while, sipping idly at his coffee while he watches the passers-by. Some hold umbrellas, others have hooded coats, and a few brave or foolish souls have nothing at all. They are all small wonders of their own, each reacting in their unique way to the rain. He's almost definitely missed that second bus, but the thought doesn't bother him as much as it might have. He can't quite bring himself to be upset about this change in plans. He's content to remain here and observe these quiet moments of the human condition. And when he finally does leave, he splashes in a few puddles himself, smiling in the face of the waterlogged sky, reveling in this small moment of joy. Well, that's all stories end. Did you enjoy it? Be sure to let me know in the comments section or at Quinlan underscore Amadeus on Instagram. Help us spread the word about our little library. Share this story with your friends and be sure to tune in next week for another. Goodbye!